Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at what I like to call an oldie but a goodie. Kubuntu 20.04 LTS. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron on Patreon, those links are down below. Kubuntu 20.04 Long-Term Support. When you download it, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. We're going to run over real quick, look at their website, Kubuntu Focal Fossa 20.04. You can download Kubuntu, you can get a feature tour, you can get help and support, or you can contribute to the development. Now they've got some YouTube videos up there, Chris Titus talking about Kubuntu, and then down at the bottom, technology use, KDE, KF5, Plasma 5, Linux, Debian and Ubuntu. If you're familiar with Linux, you know all about Kubuntu, so we're going to get right to it. If you're not familiar about Linux, once you get done watching this video, zip on over to their website, kubuntu.org, and check them out. So we're going to close out of this, and you get the nice, beautiful KDE Plasma 5 at startup. We're going to go ahead and right-click and see what kind of wallpapers we can change to. So we're going to drag that down. Right now, we've got the Milky Way. I think I'm going to go with something like that. Let's go ahead and apply. There we go. Nice, bright, shiny, pink little Martians running everywhere. You get one panel. It's down on the bottom. It's got your show desktops. It's got your date and time. It's got your hidden icons for your notifications, clipboard, night color control, vaults, keyboard indicator, KDE Connect. Plus, I like the little bit of transparency you get on the panel. It goes all the way across. It goes on the pop-ups and... It is included in the menu as well, so I like that straight across the board. Then you've got your internet, USB, battery remaining, sound settings, keyboard, and then if this is too small, let's say you want to make the panel bigger, just right-click on the panel, click Edit Panel, and it'll pop up right here, and you can make the panel bigger. Now, if you look over here, it says Add Widgets. Let's say you want a weather widget. All you got to do is go over here to Add Widgets, click on it, It'll bring them up. What you want to do is just go all the way to the W's. There's a weather report. You can drag that over here, drop it on your desktop somewhere, and then click on configure. We're just going to choose a weather station. We'll say NOAA. We'll pick Dallas. Do a search. Dallas Love Field. We'll select that. We'll go ahead and move it. Put it right there. Click anywhere on the desktop, and there you go. You've got weather. So we can close out of that. And it gives you the seven-day forecast. But there's a weather widget if you're into those type of things. There's thousands of those widgets. You can go over there. And if they're, they're not already where you can see them, you can go up and do a search and find a bunch more. Continuing on the panel, you've got system settings. You've got Discover Software Center. You've got the File Manager. And you've got Firefox. We've already seen Firefox. So let's open up Dolphin File Manager. Basically, your standard file manager for KDE. Now, if there's sections over here you don't want, remote, let's say you want to leave that there, but recent, you don't really need them. All you got to do is right-click, hide it, and it disappears. And if these are too small or too big for you, the easiest way is to come down in this area right here, right-click on it, icon size, they're set on small. I'm going to go ahead and bump them up to large. I like them a little bigger like that. And then I'm going to make these bigger. And to do that, you just come down to this little slider, and slide it over and you can make your folders bigger just a few little things you can do inside of dolphin and then you do have other preferences over here you can show hidden files if you want show filter bar there's a lot of different ways to customize it so if you download it you can kind of test drive that and see what works for you then you can come over here to the discover software center let's open that up okay the software center has populated you can see right here there's just some featured Applications they're recommending, Krita, Caden Live, Digicam, KTorrent. You can just go through here and look at some of the featured if you want, or you can go up here and do a search. Let's say something like OBS. You hit enter, there's OBS Studio. If you want to install it, you just slide over and install, and you can get all your software from here. Let's do Shotcut. Let's see if Shotcut's on there. And there's Shotcut. You can come over here, install, and you're good to go. It tells you down here you've got 237 updates. If you wanted to go ahead and do those updates, all you would do is click on them. It shows you all the updates, how big they are. If you're ready to do that update, you just come up here and go update all. 
And then you've got application add-ons and then plasma add-ons, everything from color themes to widgets, fonts, icons, login screens. There are literally thousands of ways to customize the KDE desktop environment. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. You guys have fun test driving that when you download it and put it in a virtual box or USB. I'm going to go ahead and open system settings, show you a couple little things right off the bat. You can go to appearance. And right now, you're running the Kubuntu theme, which gives you the dark areas down here and then the light windows. Maybe you want to go with something like Breeze Dark. You just click on Breeze Dark, click apply, and it changes everything over to dark. Now, what you will notice is you still have the transparency in the windows down here, so you don't lose that, but you've got a dark theme to go along with it. Now, if any of these styles right here don't fit what you want, you can go over here and click on Get Global Themes, go up to where it says Recent, go Show Highest Rated, and it'll populate with the most highest rated themes that are available. Sweet KDE, Win 10 XOS, Aritim Dark Theme, Chrome OS Global Theme, Lion. There's so many different ways to change the look of your operating system, and you can get everything here, and it's free. So let's close out of that. You got plasma styles. You can pick what plasma style you want. And if none of these are what you want, go down here and click get new plasma theme and you'll get the same kind of results you get on global theme. You can do that with colors, windows decorations, fonts, icons, cursors, font management, and splash. Now, on your global theme, when you download a global theme and it comes in here and you click to use it and apply, you'll want to go over to the plasma style, pick the same name plasma style that goes along with that theme. So that way everything looks cohesive across the operating system. So let's back out of this. And then you've got so many other things you can adjust. Workspace behavior, window management, startup and shutdown, users, accessibility, KDE wallet. These are all settings that you have that you can change right here. You have the power to change that. So let's close that. Let's come back over here. Application menu, you got all applications, you've got Arc, you've got Discover and Dolphin, Alyssa, Firefox, Gwynview, Info Center, Kate, KCalc, KDE Connect. If you use an Android phone, download the KDE Connect application on your Android phone, sync it up with your desktop. That way when you get text messages on your phone or you miss calls, it'll notify you right on your desktop. Console, let's take a quick look and see if they've got HTOP installed. They don't. Let's check top. And at present, I've got three, well, actually 3.5 gigabytes of memory issued to this virtual machine. Right now, at rest, with only the console and the weather widget open, you're using a whopping 740 megabytes of the 3.5 gigabytes you've got issued. That's pretty lightweight. I have seen some XFCE environments here lately that I've been doing reviews on that are running four or 500. But for a KDE environment and for the customization you can do, that is really light. So I'm going to close out of that. Let's come back down here. Let's go all applications. We were at console. You've got conversation, K patience, K sysguard. You've got the entire LibreOffice suite. You have the Muon package manager as well. You've got Ocular, you got Pulse Audio, Scanlight, Startup Disk Creator, System Settings, Thunderbird, VLC. This is a solid distribution. Kubuntu, based on Ubuntu, obviously, has been around a long time. KDE Plasma Desktop on top of it is just a beautiful operating system. If you've never tried it, go over to Kubuntu's website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box, take it for a test drive. I promise you, you'll be happy. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, go over to Patreon, to eBuzz Central, and sign up to be a patron. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.